the <coughs> the pound yen for the uh, week of October the 11th. Uh, this is we have been short the pound yen from August the 25th. It has been one of our biggest winning positions, and we are still uh, short the pound yen. But because of the changes that we have seen in the euro yen and in the dollar yen we need to be now cautious about our position in the uh, pound yen that position is the pound yen is up about ten thousand dollars which is one whatever how many yen that you can see there so we have now to look for some signals if we are still going to get a similar short covering rally in the pound yen but look at the weekly chart again in the pound yen and as you see we have come back a long distance of the low and we have closed now at 142.15 uh, if we come and trade above the 142.72, then we are going to take our profits on that position, and we're going to close the short. Uh, the pound is the weakest of all pairs, and that's why it is going to be the last one we're going to initiate or to look at a, 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 a price points where we take our profits on it. So uh, let's look at the daily chart. For the last 10 days or so, the last two weeks, we have been trading in a very narrow range. And even though we're getting some serious short covering in the yen, we s or selling into the yen and short covering in the other yen pairs, we saw that the euro yen went up about 250 points, the dollar went up about 200 po points, yet that the euro yen, the pound yen only traded w uh, in a tight range and it closed pretty much near the low of the day. So we are not really bullish on the pound yen, we're only going to exit because if there is short covering, we don't want to give too much back of our profits. So looking at the intraday, as you see, even though we had the short covering that came in into the pound yen, we only reversed back in again, closing below, trading below the prior day's high. And we have here a situation a, a trade which is again coming late into the day we have reverse coming back pretty much close to the opening range and that is a reversal setup for the pound yen or an indication there is no real buying coming into the pound so with that we are going to filter we're going to take, if there is any short of the pound yen below the range, we're going to take a short. We're only going to take a buy if it trades above the 142.59 or the 142.60. We can take that entry as a short covering trade. We can take a quick trade to the upside, looking to capture part of the short covering rally that might come in to the pound yen in sympathy with the selling that's coming into the yen across the board. So our buy in the pound yen is going in this case is going is going to be the 142.60. That will be our buying point, and our short point is going to stay. We're going to go short if he wants, wants somebody wants to initiate a new short position so he will initiate the short below the 142 so our new selling point in the pound yen is below the 142 
sorry, I made a mistake here. No, it's below the 142. I'm sorry. So we're going to go short below the 142. Even. So our short point for this week in the pound yen is going to be a trade below the 142. Uh, and as I said, our buy is going to be above the 142.60, and that is just to capture part of the short covering rally. Uh, 